Well guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been a couple days since I actually recorded a video because since I recorded like two videos every day for like a week, um, I kinda got a little bit of a head on videos. But now I'm back and I only spent like two days without recording, but in the time that I wasn't recording, I was actually just working. So yeah, it was actually spent good time. But I'm kinda late to uh, this thing I'm about to talk about and it has to do with Trump almost getting assassinated. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not care about politics. I don't care who you vote for. I honestly just don't care. Like I don't know anything about either one of them besides like their famous status. I just, I just wanna get that cleared up. I do not care about Trump or Biden. Like let's be honest here, I just don't care. And then there's probably gonna be people in the comments like, oh, why don't you care? You're in, you're in the United States, you should care about president. I am 16. I can't even vote. So what's the point of me even looking at it? I do not care. It does not really affect me. I can't do anything to change it. So why would I even worry about it? But anyways, this was still a, a big thing. Uh, this that It just it blew up the internet because it doesn't happen that often where a, a president gets shot. So basically in Pennsylvania, um, Trump was given like a speech at a rally type deal and and uh, a guy named Thomas, I'm, uh, that's him right there. I don't know if I'm allowed to, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to show that, to be honest. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that because he tried to kill a former president. I don't know how YouTube terms work. If this video gets stuck and down, I, I know why. I'm just going to say his name's Thomas because that's his actual name and I don't really care about the rest. But basically, Trump got shot like right here. I don't know how to explain it, but like I think it was the upper ear. It wasn't anything like remotely serious, but it could have been. But like I seen a diagram on uh, TikTok. I don't know if it's actually real, but like he turned his head like this and the bullet went like this. And if he was standing straight, it would have actually hit his head and then he would not be alive. But he is now. Joe Biden did actually uh, st have a statement over this, and he just says that he's very glad that he wasn't injured, which it's funny because aren't presidents supposed to go against each other? I'm guessing Biden did that so he can have a better look out on his name. And so, because it'd be kind of bad if Biden was like, oh man, he should have done it. Like, I understand that. I'm just looking at it at pers as a perspective of like um, money wise, um, um, view wise, like what's going to get the most views. And uh, you got you got to respect Trump when he went, yeah, I didn't die. You can't kill me. That's what he did. He when he got shot, when they were holding him up, he was like, yeah, that's what he did. He, he held up his hand. That, that got views. That definitely got some views. But there isn't like a great thing that happened. So basically there was people behind him and uh, the guy that was trying to kill Trump. I don't know if I can even say that. That sounded so brutal, but it was the truth. But basically the guy that was trying to assassinate Trump um, missed so many times. Like he missed an outrageous amount of times. But he did kill one other person, uh, like a formal, a formal fighter fighter. And he um, injured or wound two other people. But like I said, the other guy was a formal firefighter, and he was uh, 50 years old, so it's kind of sad to see that. The um, shooter died on scene because, you know, uh, Trump was a former president, and when someone tries to kill a president or a former president, the people kill the people. So basically, he, he died on the spot, basically. As soon as he shot those bullets and people knew where he was, he was dead. But the guy used a semi-auto rifle, so I, I don't really know anything much about guns, but I feel like... Uh, I feel like if, I, if you had a gun and you, you think he would actually try to hit the target, I don't really know. But like I said, I don't know much about this. I don't care about these these presidents. I don't care about what Trump does. I don't care what he did. I don't care what Joe Biden has done. I don't care what he did. I just uh just wanted to talk about this because I think it's a, an important part of history. This this will go on the history books, you can say. Because as you know, there was multiple presidents who've got assassinated and didn't make it alive like Trump did. Yippee! That's what Trump did, right? I think that's what he did. I don't know for sure. And I know that I'm going to make some people angry because I'm making fun of like Trump going, yippee! when people don't like Trump. I don't care about either of them. I'm going to say that for the millionth time. I just don't want people to be mad or upset or happy about me trying to support one of them because I don't really care. So, like, you can't do anything. I just don't care about it. I just don't want to see someone die because no one really deserves to die, I guess. Uh, there's some people, but there are not many. Not many. There's not many. A president is not one of them. But anyways, guys, hope that y'all did enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know if uh, you have any thoughts on this situation. Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down.
But anyways, guys, peace out. Okay, sorry guys, but I wanted to point out this is the photo of Donald Trump going, yippee! And here's my subscribers. Please subscribe. We're on the way to 1.5 thousand subscribers. So yeah, peace out guys.